Game show. Today's game oh, should be fun. Should be fun. I, I think uh, we're gonna see how, we're gonna see how everybody does. This is Black History Trivia. We'll go around the horn. Whoever answers right gets a point, and the person with the most points gets yeah. the final thought for the show. You may not be able to read it. I tried to make it as big as possible, but I'll read them to you. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> Juneteenth, which became an official. This is for Ellen first. Juneteenth, which became an official federal holiday in 2021, commemorates this. Is it the emancipation of enslaved African Americans in the U.S., the service of black troops in the U.S. Army during the Civil War, the U.S. Supreme Court ruling that effectively ended separate but equal education, or the signing of the law of the Civil Rights Act of 1964? Emancipation Proclamation. <laughs> okay, emancipation of enslaved Americans. We're going to check that answer. That is absolutely correct. The name comes from the June 19, 1865 date when federal troops arrived in Texas after the Civil War and proclaimed that the state's slaves were free. All right, next question is Rob B. I just, I just want to ask, why did they use a picture of Rosa Parks? Uh, I think that's just the overall picture. It's just an overall picture. But the questions don't have the question. The questions actually don't have pictures, individual pictures. Sorry. All right, so what group launched the Freedom Rides in 1961? <clears throat> Was it the ACLU, American Civil Liberties Union, SCLC, Southern Christian Leadership Conference, CORE, <clears throat> Congress of Racial Equity, or SNCC, Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee? Mm, I'm going to go with ACLU. ACLU is incorrect. That would be core Congress of Racial Equity. Plus, oh, loads of Freedom Riders went from town to town testing local compliance with federal orders to desegregate interstate bus terminals. All right, so I'd be no points for you. Question no three. For me. Oh, this might be an easy one for Lizzie. At the time of her historic bus incident, what what Rosa Park? What was Rosa Parks' occupation? Was it hospital orderly, drugstore clerk, high school? Cafeteria worker or department store seamstress? I mean, you know, I, I appreciate that they gave her, you know, a very reputable occupation there. You know, that's true. Like, was she twerking? Was she twerking? She was, <laughs> if I recall correctly, she was a seamstress. Department store seamstress? Let's check that. That is correct. Parks was arrested December 1st, 1955, after refusing to surrender a seat to a white passenger. All right. So which of these influential, this is for Ellen, which of these influential authors became the first African-American to win the Nobel Prize for Literature? That'd be Maya Angelou, uh, August Wilson, Lorraine Hansberry, or Toni Morrison? Uh, Maya Angelou, maybe? Angelou? I know Liz Actually, is... wait, can I make it Toni Morrison? You can definitely make it Toni Morrison. And that would be correct. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. Morrison, author of The Beloved and The Bluest Eye, won the Nobel Prize in 1993 for novels characterized by visionary force and poetic import uh, that give life an essential aspect of American reality. Great, Great pivot, Ellen. <laughs> and let me just say that this coming on the on the 23rd and the 24th, and I'll post this on our page. Angela, civil rights activist Angela Davis will be doing a reading of Toni Morrison's The Bluest Eye. You can watch that virtually. So I will share mm. that with everyone. Wow. Awesome. Wow. All right. Next question for Rob B. I can't if, see fit with these questions. Sorry. Yeah. Before he was elected president of the United States, Barack Obama oh, served Lord. as a U.S. <laughs> senator of which Midwestern state? Would that be Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, or Ohio? Well, I'm just going to keep picking the first one. I have no idea. You don't? You know you're, going, you're going with I have Illinois? I no idea where he's from. He's not I have from no here. idea where he's from. So you're going I'm with Illinois? Illinois? Okay. Yeah. All right, Robbie. Oh, that is man. correct. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Obama was elected the junior yeah, U.S. Senator from Illinois November 2004 and filled that role until he was elected president four years later. All right, next question. This is for Liz E. In addition to their influential campaigns to become president of the United States in 1984 and 1988, the Reverend 
Jesse L. Jackson is known for his leadership roles with which civil rights organizations? Uh, Southern Christian Leadership Conference, People United to Save Humanity, Operation Push, uh, the Rainbow Coalition, or all of the above? Okay, so I'm not familiar with the second one, but I know about the Rainbow Coalition, so I'm gonna go with that. Rainbow Coalition. That is incorrect. Incorrect. Is Whoa. It? It's all of the, all above. Of the above. Starting with the, his yes. participation in a sit-in in his hometown of Greenville, South Carolina, in July 1960, Jackson has dedicated his life to civil rights activism through several organizations. All right. All right. This, this is the today. last round. Ellen, you have a chance to win. Ooh, with this I one, know. with this one question. <laughs> with this question right here. In 1960, four African American college Whoa. students staged a sit-in that helped integrate this store's lunch counter. Is it Woolworths, W.T. Grant, G.C. Murphy, or S.H. Cressage? Cressage? Cressage. Thank you. You don't remember Chris? I have no idea. Uh oh. But I'm going to say W.T. Grant. W.T. Grant. That is your final answer. That is incorrect. Yeah. Oh. Incorrect. Ah. So we are talking about. So the undefeated. My intern just wrote a story on this two weeks ago, talking about the Greensboro Four or the A A and T Four at North Carolina A and T in Greensboro. Yep. Yep. Mm. All right. So we're going to keep going this last round. All right. So in 1968, she became the first, this is for Rob, first African-American woman elected to Congress. Would that be Barbara Jordan, Maxine Waters, oh. Shirley Chisholm, or Carol Mosley Braun? Uh, Shirley Chisholm. I was going to say, you should know. Well, we had this. How should I know this? We've talked about it on the show. We did a, we did a, uh, a Black History Profile last year on her. So, <laughs> well, then I'm glad that, that is the name correct. stuck. <laughs> Clearly. So, that is correct, Robbie. I think that would keep coming hard at Neo. Remember, Neo didn't know the capital of Canada. So, what's the capital of Canada? No. <laughs> so, Chisholm represented the 12th District of New York in the U.S. House of Representatives in 1969 to mm -hmm. 1983. But she was unsuccessful in her campaign to become the Democratic Party's 1970 presidential nominee. Her unbought and unbossed slogan has influenced black leaders for decades since then. All right. But for all of the women on the list, everyone should look them up. Yes. Everyone should look them up. Definitely. All right, Lizzie, this is to tie. Members of, the la of what labor union helped to build the nation's black middle class and civil rights movement? Was that Brothers of Sleeping Car Porters, American Federal of Teachers, Communications of Workers of America, or International Ladies Garment Workers Union. Hmm, this is an interesting one. This is I had to guess on this one myself. I got it right, but I had to guess. I'm going to say number two. You say number two? American Federal of Teachers? Yeah. Right? We will. That is incorrect. Oh, incorrect. Right? Brothers of Sleeping Car Porters, thousands of Pullman oh, Porters no. created the first labor union for African-Americans and exemplify the possibility of upward mobility for blacks. So, Lizzie, you are out. Wow. This is the final question. There's no more questions after this one. So, Ellen and Rob B. Whoever Rob B gets got this correct. Two, right? Yeah. Rob B yeah. got two correct? Whoever wow. gets this correct. She's guessing. <laughs> whoever gets this correct the fastest. Um, when? You're gonna so have, You're going to have to read fast because I can't see. Who was elected chairman of the Student Nonviolent Coordinating Committee, SNCC, in 1966? Oh. Was it Charles E. Cobb, Stokely Carmichael, no, John Lewis, one. or Bobby Stokely Seale? Stokely Carmichael. Stokely Carmichael. R.B., did you have a guess? No. Uh, I guess I'll go with John Lewis, seeing, seeing as Ellen jumped all over that. Let's go. Let's see. Car Stokely Carmichael. Yay! Hey. Ellen wins the game. Good stuff, Ellen. I can't even. Wow, that's amazing, Ellen. That's amazing.